Coffee shops have started rolling out tray return racks to get diners to clear their tables, with one association estimating that more than half its members have installed them. But others are still struggling to find the space and cash before authorities begin issuing advisories to patrons at these premises from November. Diners at this coffee shop in Topayo are getting better at cleaning up after themselves. That's since these tray return racks were installed in July. It's cleaner and we always have a cleaner table to use. But owner Kenneth Lee isn't sure his two racks will be enough when a requirement for all diners at coffee shops and food courts to leave behind a clean table kicks in. I can't put more. COVID-19, my sitting capacity already reduced about 30% to 40%. If I want to put another two more, that means four, right, maybe I need to reduce another 15 to 20% of my sitting capacity. That will affect my, my business. Fu Chao Coffee Restaurant and Bar Merchants Association, which represents about 400 coffee shops, says more than half have installed the racks, but the rest are still trying to squeeze out space. And cost is another issue. The association says operators may have to fork out two to four thousand dollars to customize racks to a certain size, even after government subsidies. If you set up a tray return counter, you involve some cost. Government agreed that to subsidize this cost, 50% of the cost, uh, uh, up to the maximum of 2005. So the operator have to bear the balance of the cost. Enforcement to ensure all patrons at coffee shops and food courts clear their tables will begin in January, four months after it kicks off at hawker centres.